okay guys so in today's video we will discuss the EPS that is earning per share according to IAS 33 and NDAS 23 and AS 20 so <clears throat> what is EPS so EPS is simply a profit available to equity shareholders divide by W A N E S wins. Now, what is this wins? So let's. Okay. So let's discuss each and everything one by one so for when's there are some set of rules we need to follow okay so first let's discuss about what is the format of this vans okay so the format of bands would be first date thereafter particular thereafter equity shares and thereafter outstanding cumulative and number of sh shares and thereafter we will be having one column for weights and then the last column for that is one into two what is this one what is this two so this is nothing this is the one this is the two okay so if I say this total this total and here I say bands is bands is simply this x divided by this x okay so simply this is this x okay 
so once we calculate the bands thereafter we only need to divide the numerator that is profit after tax by this vans number what is this vans is a weighted average number of stocks outstanding during the year so we calculate this vans to the vans table since eps is one of the financial performance indicator for the investors for the entity that is why it is always reported on the face of financial statement it is therefore there are three things which are very much important that is this standards talk about the measurement since it talks about the right calculation of the vans right calculation of the profit available to the equity shareholders since it is very much important standard we this is very much exam oriented standard you will usually see in your in your ca final examination or intermediate examination uh, but i don't see it's uh, too much significant for the ifrs examinations but yeah for the ca final examination i think this is one of the important counting standard you might encounter in the examination center okay so thereafter now further go ahead and we will discuss like how to prepare this vents table so before this let me give you example of vents is that like like for calculating the BEPS I have profit of 10 lakh okay and thereafter reference dividend of 2 lakh interest of 1 lakh okay so what is my net profit profit for equity shareholders that is 10 minus 2 minus 1 so this is what they will get that is that is simply 7 lakh okay now we have a numerator here we need to calculate we need to calculate the denominator that is wins 